Today we bring you a specially prepared video to help support the journalistic initiative covering Climate Now. This collaboration seeks to offer greater coverage to the environmental crisis we currently face. Since we focus on animals here at Animal Wise, we explain how climate change is affecting certain animals and provide some measures you can implement to help enact change. Human development grows at an unsustainable rate. In the last century, carbon emissions, use of natural resources and environmental pollution have skyrocketed. The result is extreme drought, melting of the ice caps, torrential rains and flooding. All this causes significant reductions in available fresh water and a dramatic loss of the planet's biodiversity. For the Earth's flora and fauna, this translates to potentially 150 species extinctions every day. Many animals are much more sensitive than people to changes in humidity or temperature, meaning more and more species are struggling to adapt to a changing planet. One of the largest bat species, for example, are unable to adapt to high temperatures, leading to more than 100,000 bats dying in a single Australian heat wave in 2014. Many animals are forced to change their lifestyle, affecting activity patterns, migration habits, feeding, or even their habitat itself. Some white storks in Spain are no longer migrating south as increasingly mild winters in the Iberian Peninsula cause them to stay. Geese in Canada and monarch butterflies in the Americas are facing similar circumstances. Global ice melt and the consequent rise in sea level causes birds to have fewer stopovers, essential for resting, feeding and recovering energy. In turn, Drought reduces areas of amphibian displacement as they cannot withstand long periods without water. In both cases, the mortality of individuals increases as they need to travel greater distances to carry out their habitual behaviour and vital functions such as reproduction. Deforestation for both farming and housing, as well as transportation of people and goods via cars, airplanes, ships and trains for example, all influence climate change and pollute the planet. This is causing more and more area to become inhospitable to life and creating disease. Climate change has been increasing for years, majorly due to those who profit from the Earth's exploitation. Reversing this process takes time and requires effort from all populations. How can the individual help? Here are five easy and effective measures. Modify your eating habits. A single kilogram of beef equates to more than 15,000 litres of water increased carbon emissions, soil degradation and deforestation of wild habitats. Reducing its consumption and increasing the intake of fruit and vegetables will not only improve the environmental situation but also the health and quality of life of the individual. Increased proximity in trade. As we stated earlier, transportation causes serious CO2 emissions and other pollution so finding locally produced and organic products which do not require much transport is important. Avoid constantly buying online, especially for international deliveries. Avoid single-use plastics. Every year, more than 500 billion plastic bottles are produced and 8 million tonnes of plastic is dumped in the world's oceans. Let's end this trend. Choose reusable bags, cups instead of plastic bottles, and use Tupperware instead of buying packaged food every day. Consider your purchases. Did you know polyester clothing is essentially plastic? Or that most cosmetics have an immense impact on river and ocean pollution? We must be responsible in our consumption, and when we do make purchases, we choose those which respect the environment. Follow the 3R rule. By following the three R's of ecology, reduce, reuse, recycle, we can help save our planet for future generations of all people and animals. How do you like to help fight climate change? Leave us your comments and share your ideas and experiences. We'll see you next time.